Welcome my dear all students. In this class we are going to discuss the question and answers related to Unit 5, Worksheet 5. The lesson name is Magnetism and Electromagnetism of Class 9. Choose the best answer. Which of the following correctly describes the magnetic field near a long straight wire? The field consists of concentric circles centered on the wire. Magnetic field lines are always concentric circles. They are not straight lines. So omit these two options and they are not radial lines. Okay, this one is the correct answer. The phenomenon of electromagnetic induction is producing induced current in a coil due to relative motion between a magnet and the coil. If there is the relative motion between the magnet and the coil, then only we can get the electromagnetic induction. The other options are not true. Strength of an electromagnet can be increased by increasing cross-sectional area, increasing the number of turns, increasing the current. All the, op all the three options are true. So you have to choose all the above methods. A rectangular coil of copper wires is rotated in a magnetic field. The direction of induced current changes once in each half a revolution. If there is a stationary conductor, Present in a stationary magnetic field, the voltage induced across the conductor will be zero. Fill in the blanks. If there is a high concentration of magnetic field lines, the field is strong. When current flows through a wire, it induces magnetic field. A coil of wire is placed in a changing magnetic field if the number of turns in the coil is decreased. The voltage induced across the coil will be will decrease. The magnetic field is always perpendicular to the direction of current. Transformer works on the electromagnetic induction principle. State whether true or false. Magnetic flux flow from the north pole to the south pole within the magnet. Usually you take this magnet. Usually the magnetic flux flows from south pole to the north pole inside the magnet. But if we consider the outside region. The magnetic flux lines flows from north pole to the south pole. This will be suitable only within outer region, not within the region. Inside the magnet, the magnetic flux flows from south pole to the north pole. Electromagnetic induction is the force that produces a magnetic field. This is false because electromagnetic induction is the force that produces a current, not magnetic field. An electric generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. This statement is true. Question number 14. A circular coil of radius 2 cm is in a magnetic flux density of 10 Weber per meter square. If the plane of a coil is perpendicular to the field, determine the total flux around the coil. What are the informations given? Magnetic flux density that is B is equal to 10 Weber per meter square. And radius is given as 2 cm. Because it is given in cm, convert it into meter. Then 2 into 10 power of minus 2 meter. Remember that whenever doing problems in physics, first of all you have to check the units. Whether it is given in MK system, CGS system. Convert it into one unit to the another relevant unit. What is given? Theta is equal to 0. We know A is equal to pi r squared. What is the value of pi? 3.14 into radius is 2 into 10 power of minus 2. Substitute this 3.14 into 10 4 into 10 power of minus 4. Then pi is equal to b into a cos theta. B value of b is 10. Substitute the value for a and then cos theta. Here theta is equal to 0. So this value is 1. Then multiply all those things, then you will get pi is equal to 12.56 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Weber. The magnetic field in a given region is uniform. Draw a diagram to represent it. Look at this diagram and draw the uniform magnetic field as in this picture. A transformer has 60 turns in the primary coil and the secondary coil has 6 turns. It is connected to a power supply of 220 volt AC. Calculate the output voltage. Collect the information given. Primary turns 60 and secondary turns 6. Then the input voltage given as 220 volt. We know the equation 
uh, related to the voltage and the number of turns. Es by Ep is equal to Ns by Np. Es is equal to Ep into Ns by Np. Then what is the value of Ep here? It is 220. Ns it is 6 and Np it is 60. Then strike out all those values. Then you will get Es is equal to Es is equal to 22 volt. Oh, oh, oh.